Hello everyone, this is Stigma Minds bringing you the second day of training on Six Sigma. Uh, this is part of our two months uh, program on Six Sigma Green Belt training. We have talked a little about business processes yesterday without really going deep into the meaning of a process or the definition of a process. Uh, we talked of all the hype uh, that's around Six Sigma, uh, which, uh, which is most of which is is valid. Uh, we talked of how big companies are adopting Six Sigma to improve uh, business processes, to to save money, to reduce the cost of operations, to reduce defects, and to make their customers happy. So. In order to really understand how it all fits together in the real world, we'll have to understand a few things here. And the most important thing that you would probably want to keep going back to when I walk through the slides is variation. I will talk of variation, we'll talk of how variation represents the voice of the process. We will learn how to spot a customer in a process we will understand why is variation bad and then we will talk of quality in terms of variation uh, quality as you know has different meanings and different definitions but no one really has been able to explain it that well but we'll try to explain it in terms of variation or rather we'll, we'll try to interpret it in terms of variation and as we go forward you'll understand I'm talking of uh, non-compliance to customer requirements uh, then we are going to introduce you to process mapping which is a key to understanding uh, as is processes current processes and uh, which is also very important uh, for us to analyze what's going wrong in a specific process and then uh, we're going to use it over and over again as we go forward in our journey in Six Sigma so uh, just just go through the slides with me uh, if you have questions we'll stop uh, after uh, three or four slides and then I'll get to the whiteboard and then I'm gonna take your questions and we're gonna make it fun to learn right so let's get going yeah I told you probably uh, the first day that we're not gonna get, get deep into mat mathematical uh, concepts uh, yet we do have to get into mathematical concepts at, at a later stage but uh, we think we'll steer away from uh, all that in the first one week let's just try to understand what exactly is variation and I think I'm not overloading you with uh, mathematical stuff with math uh, by telling you that this is a symbol you'll keep seeing uh, that's a symbol for uh, the Greek letter Sigma and uh, it has always represented it, represented the amount of variation right uh, so that's that's the only mathematical concept probably I'll ask you to uh, kind of remember right so that that's a symbol it's a Greek letter it it's called Sigma uh, we'll talk of uh, what exactly is variation later on uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk of measures of central tendency we'll talk of me measures of variation and we'll understand how to calculate variation through examples when I say examples those examples will be examples from your daily life it could be examples it will be examples that you can relate to right and then uh, when I talk of variation as you see on the, cr on, the on the slide there you see uh, a line right which is not straight it's, it's a series of points connected by straight lines so the first thing that probably comes to your mind is that it is it is not constant it is going up it's going down and it is not something you can say is stable but as you go through go to the right you see that the last three points actually stop at one height right so uh, we'll let's talk a little more about this right without getting into the mathematics